The focus of the Mount Sinai Injury Control Research Center is on traumatic brain injury. So everything that we do is focused on individuals with traumatic brain injury and its potential consequences. We're basically clinicians and researchers who for more than 40 years have focused on brain injury. We feel our job is to learn about brain injury, how to treat it, and then get that information to those who can potentially use it. We're aiming to improve the health and, and life quality of people who are living with a traumatic brain injury. We span a, the full spectrum of, of research on traumatic brain injury from the basic science to interventions to help people. Our program has three thrusts. The first is to identify people with uh, traumatic brain injury because there's a large number of people who basically never get counted, pass under the radar screen. Second thrust of our program is to develop interventions to treat people with traumatic brain injury. And the third thrust of our program is to study the long-term health outcomes of individuals who have been injured. We've done a lot of work in this area. We have developed a screening tool called the Brain Injury Screening Questionnaire. And over the last decade, really, we've developed it, refined it, and used it in a variety of different settings to screen people with traumatic brain injury. And to be honest, we've even been surprised by some of the findings that we've seen. There's a huge number of people who never get counted. There are probably about 7% of the population of the United States has sustained a traumatic brain injury. So rather than the, let's say, five to six million people CDC says exists, the numbers are several times that. The meaning of that is that there are inadequate resources available to care for people, to provide services for pe to people, there are inadequate resources for research. People are walking around with consequences of their brain injury that may have been treated if they had been identified. And oftentimes, traumatic brain injury leads a person down to a path of failure. So one of the biggest things was the loss of my self-esteem because I, um, I wasn't the same person and I realized I wasn't the same person. Um, I had a lot of memory loss, a lot of depression because of the loss of the person I was and not able to do the things that I used to do that came so naturally. I think there needs to be a major paradigm shift in our thinking about TBI that basically goes beyond just looking at the event. There's a need for interventions because the consequences of a brain injury are usually not treatable with a pill. We develop the interventions and then we base the effectiveness of the interventions on the outcomes of the clinical trials. So we just completed about a year ago a clinical trial on a group treatment program called STEP. And that treatment manual is now available on our website so that people can basically use this treatment manual to implement programs across the country or across the world. Treatment was imperative. It was a a way of giving me tools to get on with my life. I look at the treatments that I had as someone giving me a toolbox and showing me how to use those tools. And then moving forward, I get to use those tools to have some semblance of a normal life. Because we can get better. A lot of persons with a traumatic brain injury can get better. It's just that you have to approach it slowly and with discipline. What we're seeing is that as a result of this intervention, recidivism in these kids have been, has been reduced 50%. That's a positive outcome. We're, we're basically keeping kids out of jail. We're keeping them functioning in their communities. One of the things that we're hoping to help the brain injury community be aware of is that there are empirically supported rehabilitation interventions out there. And we're very interested in helping other researchers and clinicians have access to these interventions that have been empirically supported. We want people to understand that we have resources that are available to them and that we'd like to serve as a resource. If you see a need that we can answer, we want to be there for you. Our Injury Control Research Center is a resource for folks 
not only people with brain injuries, but for state governments, for programs across the country who either want to begin to try to better identify people with a TBI or to basically pick up some of the interventions that we've developed in order to help people with TBI.